Bruh. Thing is flipping filthy. is finally over I finally got my uh, parts back from the machine shop got the head sitting right there and the block right behind me uh, I'm pretty stoked about it unfortunately it is the rain season now I don't know if you guys can see but it is just piss and rain out there um, but yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that block put together first um, scratch that. I think I'm going to get the head put together first. We're going to get the valves, springs, um, all that good stuff on, set that thing aside, and then jump into the block. So let's get into it. All right, so here's the head. I got it decked, polished, and cleaned. I've got all my valves lined up sitting here, all the springs, and I went with dual. Um, as you guys know, only the K20s come with dual springs. The K24A2 only comes with a single um, and I believe I went with a hundred pound spring pressure but here's my part numbers I went with the uh, standard valves here's the seats the retainers keepers and obviously your valve stem seals there is two different styles uh, blue and a brown they both will fit on either side uh, but they do mark intake side and exhaust side right there so don't mix that up um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and start slapping in these valves all right so what I'll be using today for the install got some assembly lube two different brands and this stuff's really nice because it's it's really thick and it sticks to everything you put onto it um, it's not gonna run run down uh, it says it's for eliminating dry starts and then this one's got like some zinc in it and whatnot, I believe. Um, and then just some regular car oil, whatever oil you're going to be using in your block. Um, I think right there I have just a 5W30. You're going to need some paper towels, some gloves. And believe it or not, this thing works really good um, for wiping down your motor because it doesn't leave any, any residue like paper towels will. And uh, if you're going to whine about me using a mask, you should probably go down your main street and start picking up the thousands of masks laying in the gutters. Um, and then this tool right here is super, super badass. Um, I highly recommend you guys buy this tool if you guys are going to be doing any head work. It makes life so much easier. Um, I think I got this one on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Just type in... Uh, K20, K24, valve spring tool, and it will pop up. Um, you're going to need a wrench for this. Uh, you got your socket for the two bolts that mount to the head, and then I use an impact to seat that spring down. And you don't want to reef on this too hard. It's pretty easy to kind of guide the uh, guide this bolt down on the springs easily, and it's a lot of turns if you're going to do it by hand. And then for the valve seals, you can either buy uh, the tool or you can use a 3 8 socket like I'm doing here. And that valve seal fits in there, just titties. So yeah, let's hop into it and start slapping some valves in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the intake side first. First thing you want to do is install your seats. I'm going to go ahead and give it a glob of lube right there. That's actually quite a bit, but yeah, whatever. This stuff's all going to come out of your motor now, once you put oil into it and you do your initial startup. So lube the crap out of that. Whatever you have left, throw it on your seat. And 
boom, slide that seat on. Spin these suckers a couple times. Just make sure there's no dry areas in there. Plenty lubed up. Perfect. All right, now we're ready for the seals. Go ahead and take two of these guys out. You don't want to pinch these. Uh, they are pretty, they've got a little soft metal casing around them and it will bend. Just use a little bit of a 5W30 in there. My sausage fingers are having a hard time getting in there. Just trying to lube this thing up. Don't go in there all dry. Not too much, but enough to cover it. It helps it go on. <clears throat> and this is what I was saying about the uh, 3 8 socket. That thing fits in there perfect. Doesn't fall out. And whatever, you can buy the tool if you want to, but this will work. Get it on there centered, start pushing, and you'll hear a, just a small little, well, you might not even hear it, you'll just kind of feel it click in, and that's seated. And we'll do that for both of them. Alright, now that we got the seals on and the seats, I'm going to go ahead and squirt some 530 right down the guide and I am gonna get oil all over this valve as well piece of garbage And like I said, don't be afraid to make a little mess. I've got this piece of paper right here that's just going to get tossed out as soon as this is done. Tilt this over a bit so you can get in there a bit easier. You don't ever want to go in dry. So make sure to lube the crap out of that. And it'll just pop right past that seal. Alright, so now I got my two sets of springs here, and I'm going to add a little bit of lube on the contact points. Top and bottom. This assembly lube is so flipping thick, it just sticks onto everything. Pretty awesome stuff. Make sure that's nice and snug, plenty oiled up. Same thing for the other side. So I could be wrong, but I do not think there's a top or bottom for these springs. Uh, both sides look the same. I just got those in there. Twist them a little bit. Make sure we spread that lube. Don't have any dry spots. Alright, so now we're ready for our retainer. Same thing. Plenty of lube. Two little gobs. This stuff goes a long ways, but it's going to make a flipping mess. It's so stringy, sticks to everything. Beautiful. All 
All right, now we can go ahead and start installing, or I guess setting up our valve spring tool here. And it just bolts right up to here. Um, what I like to do sometimes is throw this cap on first, tighten the bolt just a little bit till where it gets snug. And uh, just kind of go, go with that wherever it centers out. That's what I'm going to tighten it down to because there's quite a bit of slop um, in this tool here. And if you just go ahead and torque it down, well, you might be a little to the left or a little to the right. And it'll be putting some pressure on that valve as it's coming down. Get this snug. You don't want to over tighten this. Remember, this is an aluminum head. start to slowly screw this down pretty much just enough to get um, get past the grooves on the valve right here where your keepers go just right there if you guys can see doesn't take a whole lot um, and now this is kind of the tricky part if you got big old fingers like I do this is kind of a pain but I'll show you guys just a little trick that I've been doing so I did have a small little magnet um, I would just throw on the back end of the screwdriver and it would uh, magnetize the screwdriver and just be enough to hold this keeper up but I can't seem to find that so another trick is just to use the assembly lube since it's so thick just a little glob on there it will stick to your screwdriver not very well but it will um, and you got to remember your keepers are at like a slight cone shape so you want the smaller end going down and that groove part on the top side and there you go with the small little screwdriver a little bit of assembly lube it goes right in no problem and it is sticking to that thing like pretty well. There you go. Both of them are on. I've got the small groove part of the keeper in the valve. So now we can slowly start backing this off. And I'm just going to keep an eye on it. sometimes believe it or not those uh, keepers if they're not in properly will slide out so but that's done and now I'm gonna go ahead and get that other side done and uh, we can move this part and basically start the process all over again all right so we got the one side done the intake side is all done so when you're using your tool if you look down right here if it'll focus um, sometimes you're coming down and your spring will be at a slight angle um, with the slop in this tool uh, what I like to do is leave those loose get my cup on there and then torque that bolt down just a bit just to kind of see which way it's going to start shoving it try to straighten it out and then tighten it down so that's just something to be aware of is uh, make sure you're centering the crap out of this and uh, on your first couple turns just go nice and easy make sure it's not catching your uh, valve and it'll make life a lot easier another thing to keep in mind is uh, obviously throw your seats down first and then your uh, valve stem seals because if you mess that up and you go to remove these more than likely you're going to damage these and uh, yeah you don't want to Put them back on after you take them off they're cheap i think it's like nine nine ten bucks for one side i think 20 bucks for a set and uh, i actually ended up getting extras not that i needed them i think that one was from the last build uh, but just keep that in mind if you do have to remove them just go ahead and purchase new ones it's uh worth the wait 
All right, well, that's all we're going to be doing with this head as of now. Uh, just the valves and the springs are installed. I've got a nice clean sheet of paper on the bottom of this box so we don't damage the uh, head surface. I'm going to go ahead and close this up and set this aside. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave the video off at for today. Um, all I really wanted to do is get them springs and valves all installed so we can uh, start working on that block. A um, couple pointers if you are doing this yourself, like I said, just wear gloves. Uh, make sure to keep any grit out of there, especially out of the guides. Um, and lube the fuck out of it. The more the merrier. Uh, do not go into the hole dry, that's for sure. So, anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. If you guys got any questions, go ahead, comment. I'll try to answer. Um, next thing we're going to start doing is start working on this block. Start getting our uh, rings all gapped. And I think I'm going to go with the same, same diameter or the same size ring gap. Um, but I will, I'll redo my math. Um, but I'm I'm doing the same bore so I imagine everything should add up to be the same so yeah alright I'll see you guys in the next video